Let's end this week on a positive note. The Atlantic Magazine reported this week that high school graduation rates are rising across the country and, and, and New Mexico was number three, most improved from 2011 to 2013 school years. Our overall high school graduation rate is still only 70%. We talk a lot about, about education here in our state and Harry Van Buren, mm -hmm. you are, and others at UNM end up on the other end of exactly. this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have a, an interest in this, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Good, what's been going on, to, to, do you think, to account for our rise in our high school I graduation rates? I think there rates? are several things that have been going on. So there's been a real focus on the achievement gap, not only uh, between non-Hispanic and Hispanic students, but also looking at issues uh, related to a class. So much more focus on early intervention, uh, and particularly for students that are at risk of uh, dropping out of a high school. Right. And I think that's a big uh, part of uh, what's going on, but there's also just the ongoing conversation in the state that this is a major problem. Part of the reason why per capita incomes are so low in New Mexico is because we've had historically high dropout rates. So the fact that there's more public attention, I think, really changes the culture mm -hmm. and the conversation around the importance of, of completing high school. Lieutenant Governor, is I don't think it's a fact of one silver bullet has, has caused this. Is there a lot of little things that have come together to make this happen? Well, I do think we've made school at some levels, especially high school, more inviting, where yeah. kids that feel that it's like not challenging, boring, they can take um, uh, in in along a parallel class with CNM or mm -hmm. the university. That's a big hit, absolutely. You know, they, you know, taking advantage of those kinds of things. Sure. And I have to say, I think that you know, just the awareness that we have to do something at every level, starting yeah. from the first five years. That's right. To um, and earlier, as far as you're concerned. And earlier. That's right. So, <laughs> uh, there's so many great nonprofits around here yeah. who are focusing on, say, middle school retention. Mm -hmm. That's important. Changing high school curriculum, you know, redesigning high school, which did happen under the Richardson Denish administration, <laughs> Tom, um, has really, we should get a lot of credit for, yep. what, for these rates because redesign yeah. of high school made it possible for kids to be more challenged in high school. Right. Our colleague Megan Kemmerich <laughs> through Public Square has done a yeah. lot of work with the dropout rate here in New Mexico. That's part and parcel yeah. of the problem. See, a lot of different things have to come together, don't right. they? Right. They yeah. do. They do. And Santa Fe is dealing with that dropout rate issue uh, tremendously right yeah. now. Interesting coverage in the Santa Fe. New Mexico. Mm -hmm. To uh, Governor Dennis's point, I want to be able to mention that mm -hmm. you know the real credit here goes to teachers, ah, uh, mm -hmm. and I think this the teachers because when you look at the 2015 cohort, as far as from kindergarten to, to graduation, um, there were three governor administrations mm -hmm. in, in Albuquerque. There were four different superintendents, and so there's definitely not consistency amongst all those different Good groups, point. with Good all point. due respect, yeah. uh, but there is consistency in the classroom. So I think that, you know, the, the cohort and the increased graduation rates, hats off to the teachers. Good deal. Sophie, what do you attribute this I'm to? Just, I'm going to pick this up, up on something that Tom mm -hmm. just said. It, it causes me some concern um, to think about how desperate the schools are for teachers right now, how mm -hmm. understaffed mm -hmm. they are and the impact that that could have. I mean, I think there's a tendency to point to, it's this one thing, it's this other thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am in, in the back of my mind thinking, what's happening in the economy that makes it more attractive to stay in school than to, than to go out and get a job? Mm -hmm. I'm not an economist, so it's hard for me to answer that question, but I do wonder about that sort of thing. Sure. Um, and I think it is also important that we not in any way rest on our laurels here because mm -hmm. this improvement was off of a very bad number. Mm -hmm. And so it is easy to look a percentage change, it's easy to look better when you don't have to improve that much to, right. to post that percentage. Right. We still have a long way to go on this issue. That's a fair point. Appreciate that. Harry, you mentioned something at, at, when we first got into this right. about Hispanic graduation rates mm -hmm. have increased 9% mm -hmm. in this study as right. well. We don't have numbers for African American students uh, in, in here either, I don't think. But mm -hmm. the point being, as black and brown kids' graduation rates improve, our overall success right. here is going to improve right. markedly, would seem to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, picking up on uh, Sophie's uh, point, uh, we mm -hmm. not only have to continue to target high school graduation rates for, for all students, but we then have to take the next step and look at what skills are students coming out with. Uh -huh. Are they uh, college ready? Are they career ready? Right. So just focusing on graduation rates isn't really enough. We've got to look at what is happening to students through the school experience. Interesting point. That's all the time we have. Join us online at NewMexicoInFocus.org. I'm Gene Grant. As always, we appreciate your time and effort to stay informed and engaged, and we'll see you next week in Focus. Get a preview of what's coming up on the next New Mexico in Focus. It's easy. Sign up for our weekly email at NewMexicoInFocus.org.